Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a custom spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel uh, for your employee payroll. Alright, this is of course what it's going to look like when you start. I've already made this spreadsheet. Um, it was very tedious and took uh, quite a bit of time. But here we go here. I've already done my formulas. I'm just going to blow through here. Uh, so if you need to pause the video to get the formulas, um, by all means do so, but try to keep up. So, Alright, right up here we're going to put our date. And we're starting on a Sunday. So, and we're going to type in Sunday. Alright, now let's take these, drag it across. We got our date. Alright, now we need an employee. Uh, I merged these cells here. Um, so, if you need to merge, just go to Merge and Center. And as far as the colors and the gradient, I'll get to that at the end. Uh, I'm sure not everybody's really interested in all that. It helps uh, some people, though, distinguish what's what. All right, so we need an employee. Our employee is going to be Bob. All companies got a Bob. We're going to pay Bob $10 an hour. And there we go. All right, now, like I said, keep up. Uh, pause the video if you need to see these formulas. All right. And like I said, these these uh these all these are all cells that started out looking just like these. So um, all I did was put color and gradient. So every one of these is just its own cell. Uh, Bob comes in at eight o'clock in the morning. And he knocks off at five o'clock. Space PM. Uh, to specify p.m. Uh, you don't have to specify a.m. but p.m. specify. Alright, this is my formula to figure out these two. You want to take this, multiply it by the time in and the time out, multiply it by 24. That'll give you this. Alright. Uh, let's let's make Bob come in, or knock off at 6. He's going to he's gonna get some hours and go on overtime. That way I can show you my overtime formula. Let's take, drag this across. Alright. So, Bob's got 10 hours every day. A total of 50 hours. Um, as I said, make sure you pause the video and get these formulas. So, uh, alright. Here's my overtime. I figured it out. Here's your formula here. Again, I'm not going to sit here and explain it. It's very tedious even thinking about it. Uh, here is how much money he ended up with in overtime. Here's the formula for that. Alright, over here. This is Bob's total pay. This is what Bob made right here. And wow, look at that formula. It was as hard as it looks. Alright, now over here is... Uh, some companies pay the tax, of course, on top of the employee pay. Uh, this company that I, I did this spreadsheet for is paying 0.135% uh, of the tax on top of the employee. So this is what the employee gets. This is what the company has to pay on top of that. This is the total payment that the company, the employer, has to pay out. All right, even though the employee is only receiving this much and not even that after taxes. But, uh, anywho, so that's, that's these formulas for all this. So, uh, I hope you got all that. that. That calculates your overtime. Um, of course, this is formatted, um, for currency for the pay rate. And, um, you've got these formulas here. And, uh, sure you know to drag across a cell to duplicate all the formulas. Alright, now this is a two-week spreadsheet here. Alright, so of course you go across and we got the second week here. Alright, now come to the bottom here. Now of course Bob's the only guy we put in here, but uh, this shows you your um, pay for Monday total for all employees. Alright, so let's show you the uh, formulas for this. This will be your hours for all employees. 
This will be the pay uh, Bob made $100 on Monday. Okay. Um, some reason his hours are in here, but I'm sure you can figure it out. I think they're all supposed to be. Okay, we don't have um, we don't have D5 in there. So let's let's put uh, D5 in here. Comma. All right, so now Bob's hours should show down here at the bottom for this day. Here and there's Bob's hours. All right, uh, he made a hundred dollars. This is how much tax um, the company had to pay that day for Bob. The company paid out a total of $111.35 for that day. And he worked the same all the way across here. Um, here's your weekly uh, formula for summing um, weekly totals. So let's start up here, your weekly hours. Uh, here's your weekly pay weekly tax and then your total weekly expense um, all together okay so that's pretty much uh, all your formulas um, for this thing now when you want to total the two week uh, totals I uh, did not put that on here yet but what you would do is equals sum of um, this number here and this number here. It's probably the simplest formula you'll do. So, uh, now as far as the gradient here, uh, again, this row is all uh, one employee, this right here. All right, so you could put multiple employees. This is where their payroll would payroll would go, or their pay, uh, pay rate would go. Um, now as far as the gradient though, you would go up here to uh, oops, we didn't want to do that. You would go up to um, let's see, four borders, um, fill, and then over here you can do um, fill effects. And here is your uh, gradient effects. So you want to play with the gradient. Um, you see what you can do with it there. It really helps you uh, distinguish what's what within these little spreadsheets. So um, now let's let's do Tom. I'm going to show you some of uh, some of the um, features you can do with this stuff and see who's working more hours, who's making more money. Uh, Tom makes um, eight dollars an hour. Okay. Tom works eight. Oops. Eight o'clock to four. All right. Um, and then let's see. This day he works um, eight to six. This, 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 he comes in at eight every day. Let's just uh, let's just accept that. Okay. Uh, I'm just copy and pasting for the sake of saving time. All right, and now uh, this day he worked till I'll well, work late this day. He worked till seven. Okay, and now over here. Um, oh well. Okay, I see what happened here. Now you got to be careful for this. Uh, eight nine ten eleven twelve it done what it was supposed to be uh but let's fix that real quick 
Alright, hey, he was late one day, and let's go with, um, eight there, and again, yeah, nine there, he was late, okay, and over here we're gonna, he knocked off at, come in at nine, he, he, I don't know what's up with Bob, but he knocked off at one that day, okay. Uh, no, and it was 1 o'clock p.m. I'm sorry there. Alright. Now, what you can do is, um, go to, uh, cell styles. Oh, I'm sorry. Conditional formatting. Color scales, data bars, gradient fill. Um, we're going to do a gradient fill. I am. This will okay. We want to highlight the whole area first. All right now, data bars, gradient fill. All right now you can see. Um, let me delete the format off of that. Um, anyway, we'll do that later. Okay. Alright, so now you can see this day he come in here. Uh, it's kind of like a graph. It shows you what days he worked. What? Um, fix that there for you. Alright, well, I still got the board graph. Anywho, alright, so 11 o'clock was the day he, he, he uh, or 11 hours, he had the most that day. Um, so you kind of get the idea there. Several different ways you can do this type of stuff, and then you could even uh, kind of compare what employees get the most hours, what employees coming in late, uh, so forth and so forth. But um, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you have any questions, leave in the comments. And um, if you learn anything off of this, like and subscribe to our channel for more uh, Excel tutorials and Photoshop on this 10 uh, as well. So, uh, like I said, like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.